Chris Polkit, and I'm working as a software testing engineer for more than two years now. I worked on multiple projects or different domains. I uh, worked on different test automation frameworks. And in my current project, I've just completed implementing a continuous delivery pipeline. And for this project, I'm working at client side, client side at Grofert Guruha. Okay, so I was facing multiple problems here. First one was I created some automated test, but there was no visibility. So what, what was like that, uh, the developers build their code and then they deploy in production. Second one was I was encountering some issues which were in staging or queue environment, uh, which, were, which were not in staging or queue environment, but were uh, getting reproducible in production one. So uh, for uh, rectifying all these problems, I built a continuous integration pipeline. Okay, so this talk is about shipping code from development to production environment in a new and better way using Docker and Jenkins. So first, a short introduction about why should we do continuous delivery at all. So for developing a product, organizations are now working in Agile. They, pro they work in iteration, and then they have the shippable product, which they want to deploy in production. But as long as it takes to deliver something in production, it increases the risk of having issues in production. So as you can see in this picture, this is how a traditional pipeline looks like. We build our code, perform some automated tests on it, and then we deploy it in any environment. Uh, so we have development environment, queue environment, staging, or prod. But following this approach actually causes a lot of problem. First one is slow deployment. So the way we are building our code slows down the deployment process. So there are time constraints. Set, second, setting up the test environment is also not a simple task. And there comes a point where people in organizations even think that to the point we will do this, otherwise we can skip the test. Third one is ineffective test, and this one is the most dangerous one. So let's say you have created your automation suit, and uh, they were working fine in uh, your queue environment. But when you are running those test cases in production, they are getting failed. So when these things have been, uh, people in an organization tends to lose hope from your test and even from you. <laughs> so for overcoming all these problems, uh, we can use the containerized environment. And by containerized environment, we mean we containerize all its dependencies, all APIs uh, in an image. So when we are building our code in development environment, we containerize all this stuff in an image so that throughout the deployment process, we can use the same image. And uh, Docker is the most popular container format today. So now, as you can see, uh, we are sending the consistent code images throughout the environment. Uh, so there is a proof of concept now that whatever the things that were working in my staging environment will also work in my production environment. Uh, so once we have our image, we can perform a set of automated tests. So for example, if one needs to create an uh, integration test, he can use any REST client, say OK, HTTP, Unirest, etc. I particularly use Unirest for this as it provides me a good syntax, as well as the dependencies, which I can add my pom.xml file if I'm using Maven project. So this is just a simple example where what I'm doing is just sending a post request to an API, uh, then adding auth keys and access token uh, for authentication, and then sending data in the form of JSON. Uh, once I get the response, I integrated the same in the second API to check, to check uh, whether the, uh, the two APIs are functionally integrated or not. So this is how overall uh, the continuous delivery, delivery pipeline would look like. It will all start with a push by developer uh, in, uh, in some kind of source code management, say GitHub. Uh, this will trigger your uh, Jenkins job, which will be responsible for building your code. And then uh, we would have already integrated all of our automated tests with this build job. And let's say if all tests get green, we can move forward with the deployment process. So let's, let's look into one demo where I will be showing how to create a Docker image which can be used for the deployment process and how we can integrate all of our automated tests with this build job. So for creating a Docker image, you need to create a Docker file in your build, in your uh, working directory. Just add your steps. Then this whole process is automated. So earlier we were adding steps manually to build your build, but this whole process is now automated. After these steps gets executed, 
we will have our image which can be deployed throughout the deployment process. Let's say if I want to uh, use this image, let's say I, if I want to run any command on this image, I can do it by running containers on it. So uh, now let's look into the continuous delivery pipeline. So as I discussed earlier, it will all start with a push by developer. I push some code, a new feature or something in my repo. This will automatically trigger my Jenkins build job. And it, it, it's happening because I've already configured a Jenkins webhook for doing this in my GitHub repo. After it gets executed, all my automated tests will, will run. And the most important stuff, uh, which is, if my automated test will get failed, we, will, we are not moving forward with the staging deployment or any deployment. So this way we can ensure the visibility of our automated test. And the way we are building our code is the containerized one. So we can expect that whatever the things that are working in my environment in staging or QA will work in production one. Moving to the conclusion part. Uh, so the organizations that are leveraging containerized environment can expect to increase agility in the software development process. And now for QA, there is a proof of concept that whatever the things that are working in my staging or QA environment will also work in the production one. And the way we have integrated our automated test with the build job, so there is a visibility of our automated test that uh, if they are not getting green, we are not moving forward with the deployment process. Thank you.